So who do we have here? We got a black child from Austin, Texas. Eastside, O2. So how do you feel about the list? Walk away smiling from Belize. 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 I don't feel no ways about a list. How do you feel that you didn't make the list? I don't feel no type of way about it. Do you know anyone on the list? <laughs> I know a few people on the list. Are you rocking with them? What you mean? Like who do you rock with on the list? I like certified, kid, uh, yeah, as far as like personally listen to, like, that's who I, or like seen a lot of times live, like. Okay. Do you know Shiki to be? <coughs> I know her from school, yeah. But I don't know enough of her music to dissect it or have like a dialogue about it. So you're not a fan? No. You're no, also a musician. I say. Okay, you're also a musician. Um, do you feel like you're the female, uh, you're the best female rapper in Austin, Texas? Yes. Can you elaborate on that? But I also feel like I was telling you earlier, being the best consists of a lot. So I still, even then, have ways to go. But I feel like, besides rap, just the person that I am, just doing community work for my, for where I'm from, how I came up, I feel like it's just, it was just different from a lot of people, you know, a lot of different women coming up, you know. So I had like a certain route that was like, in a way, boot camp. But I still had to learn on my own, you know what I'm saying? How to get it. How do you feel about the lack of female hip hop artists in Austin, Texas? Um, I don't think there's a lack. I just don't think a lot of people are interested or even know what they want in music, what they even want to hear, what they want to see, you know. It just kind of like a follow the leader type thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I think that's one of the reasons, but if you're just talking the city, then yeah, I feel like worldwide, it's like, I feel like personally women have been more of the talk, you know, but as far as like, just having some list, I feel like there's this taboo or this elephant in the room type vibe when it comes to just putting everybody's names together, you know? So I don't think it's impossible. Um, I think it's just gonna have to take us besides like everybody, besides the men, you know, outsiders trying to be like, y'all need to do this, you need to do this. We should, it needs to come from us, you know? We have to put in that work to want to see the change that we want to be or want to see. So amazing, amazing. Um, <coughs> you, you being the best female artist in Austin, Texas. Can you um, give us a sixteen? I'm always in the corner manifesting the plans, saving all these dollars so my time invested. No lever but my scale finna way out. Tell the mockingbirds to stay out. Every black child should be living in that white house. We passed the point of troubles, gunpoints and blood puddles. Just silence. Nobody know nothing cause truth been divided. Can count the countless times. Domestic kept me hectic. Keep my word on respect. Shit, my sanity can help it, yeah. 
Love it how my pencil shells collecting all this paper well. I've been all that, nigga, you can call me Keenan Kel. Blunted with a passion, as you touch the grass then. I begin to move forward, no time for no exes. Nine to move forward, been through something. Man, I can't lose to it. Can't refuse this journey if I don't go through it. Post to, I guess, until then I'm killing them softly. Open letter shit, shitting on opponents like I'm John Forte and shit. When paranoia strikes at midnight, make your mood shift. Don't slip OD and off this thing we call music. They talk like hustling and acts gon' make them bigger. Slick talk, my measurements quick, my plan bigger. He dub his choice of liquor, only if I got it. My whole style exclusive, trying to sew me like I'm cotton. They fail to recognize the niggas dying by manana. Today ain't much promise, so I'm busting to the source to find out that my route was blocking this course, of course. These ramen noodles ain't enough, my stomach aches some more. I write more to fight for my life. Digest my process, my intake to make progress. It's complicated more or less. My stress talking sign me up. Ooh. I see I see why I see why you're the best. Um wow, that was, that was really good. Man, that's just so crazy that you even saying that shit out loud. I like to feel like I don't know, it's just so much work, man. So much work. You're from a group called Mind of a Different Kind, right? Yes, I am. Uh, speak about that a little. Um, so it's four members. I'm the only female. And uh, we originated from the nonprofit we were a part of. So me and Shaw, we was always hanging out, you know what I'm saying, write music. So we already naturally was just like, we gonna be doing stuff outside of the nonprofit, you know to try to really make a name for ourselves. And um, then I ended up leaking with Nick because he was in college and um, he was in the cypher for a couple of years, but he stopped going because he went to college. But uh, we still reconnected through our uh, mentor, Shannon, which is the founder of the cypher. Um, and we just took it from there. We was, I was like, yo, like, you want to join me and Shaw? We've been doing some shit. Let's just make songs together. Let's just do what, how we started this shit. So that's how that started. And then um, we met Breeze a few years later. And then we made the team solid after that. Okay. Who was your, like, top five in Austin, Texas rappers? <sighs> First, I would have to say Nick, a.k.a. Pip Namaskis, from MDK. Like, I just feel it outside of just, like, this on the intellect level, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, he's one of them lyricists that's always just went back and just uh, told me his references, you know what I'm saying? Because we really into reference type of, like, style and rap and, like, if you like really pay attention to the verse I just spit, you know what I'm saying? Like that whole reference was from like uh the score, Fuji's, you know what I'm saying? Some John Forte shit, like, you know what I'm saying? But uh just little inside stories. He just wanted them like rappers that's just wanted them inside stories that you just can't wait to talk about because you just we just like to talk about rap, you know what I'm saying, how it was formed. So he definitely, you know what I'm saying, one of my one of my top five. You know what I'm saying? And that's period, that's outside of Austin. Uh I fuck with Yoli from Public Offenders. I think she's definitely a lyricist. Definitely been putting in work over the years. Um so shout out to her. Uh, certified, I fuck with Certified. He's definitely been doing his thing. I feel like um, Kid Jones and shit, Clifton Dukes. I have to say. Okay, and what do you have in store for the world next? Man, definitely more just art. And I think more sides of me, my personality. Um, and I think that's what, of course, people want to see. 
Um, I feel like if you don't know me personally, then you can't really, you know, uh, get that full, you know, dialogue. Yeah. Have you been keeping up with the I Wanna Know show? I've seen a few episodes. Um, how do you feel about Jeezy going ham? Who was that? He was the first one for season two. Okay. How I feel about him going ham? Um, shit, from what, I, from what I remember, he just talked about how he felt. It seemed like shit. That's, a, that's his opinion, you know. If he feel like he the best or... I don't even remember what else he was saying, you know, why he felt like that. Did you watch King It Dr. don't affect me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have... I don't sit around and think about it. <laughs> to have, like, you know... Yeah. But I definitely think I should have like like some type of like binge watch, watch the whole season and then be like, okay, but get more familiar with, you know, everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like two artists don't know how to just be open to just seeing what's out there. But I guess people too, they don't like to waste their time and be like, oh, you know, that nigga look like he suck. Look how that nigga's talking. Like... I ain't got time for that shit. So, I mean, so yeah, I'm open to it. I'm open to, you know, hearing out what people got to say, but I'm not gonna just feel no type of way about it. Did you ever watch King Tucker's? In actuality, turn you a casualty. Shooters, my faculty, in that fatality. He wanna battle me, but I don't rap for free. Gotta pay the fee. A cup of racks of feet, a cup of racks of feet. You know, just said be, he overcharging me, but it don't bother me. No. Okay, last but not least, what does walk away smiling mean to you? I feel like walk away smiling means some like internal happiness you make for yourself. And I think that's what I've been thinking about with myself lately, just reflecting, you know, what makes me smile and how could I keep, you know what I'm saying, that around my energy. So I feel like you doing whatever makes you smile, whatever makes you just, you know, accomplished about anything, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you always gonna get that last laugh, that last little smirk, you know? Especially with me, cause I'm a sarcastic ass nigga, so, I'm always like low key laughing about something, you know, people don't know about. There you have it, guys. Season two, I want to know. Black Chop. They got a motherfucking check, or like they getting paid for this rap shit. If you ain't getting paid for this rap shit, do you really got a check out here in these streets? Is you really. I pay for myself to rap off the trap. So, like, I mean, you can say what you want, but nigga, we taking risks.